What is it, Holmes? Look, Watson. There are people watching. <laughs> They're all waiting for mad movies with the L.A. connection. Do you see them? <laughs> I'm Ken Scove, and welcome to Mad Movies with the L.A. Connection. This is a video dating service. I'm here because tonight's Mad Movie happens to be about a woman who's searching for Mr. Right and just can't seem to find him, which is a shame considering the fact there are 33,481,381 eligible bachelors. Of course, uh, 10 million of us are probably too young, too old, or just boring. So let's follow one woman's search for romance. Tonight's Mad Movie is a classic, the 1937 version of A Star is Born. Esther, quit looking at pictures of naked men. Put that National Geographic away. Go out and get yourself a date. Oh. Go out and get your butt out that door. If you hang around here too long, you're going to die a virgin like your grandmother. Esther, at this dating service, our operators are standing by 24 hours a day. Data dude, can I help you? Your dude will be too for the men for weenies. So you see, Esther, it just goes to show you that you're not alone. There are a lot of other dull, bulgy-eyed, scraggly-haired, thin-lipped, flat-chested, tastelessly dressed, ignorant women out there just like you. And we'll find you a man. <laughs> or something darned close. <laughs> Hmm, a four-letter word for Hellas. Uh, uh. Excuse me, is Tom Selleck here? Huh? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, he painted uh, the message slots and left. Hmm. He went upstairs to get some wet paint signs. He's gonna hang them on the banister until it dries. Oh, I see. Uh, apparently not too well. Uh, now you've got paint all over your hands. Oh, here he comes now. Uh, oh. Hi, Tom. Well, is my date here yet? What? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, she's your date. Uh, oh, this is Tom Selleck. Hi. How do you do? Tom here can burp in five languages. Huh? We'll have two skip and go nakeds with milk, please. <laughs> hey, nobody oh. punches me and gets away with it. Oh. Next time I'll deck you, understand, Esther? Sorry. <clears throat> Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Woo! Great stuff. I'd like to get into that cow and milk it personally. Oh, well, don't talk dirty around oh. me. Listen, I'm paying for this date, and I'll talk to you any way I want. <clears throat> oh. oh, I'm sorry you broke your hand. I have a metal plate in my arm from shaving. Well, don't cry. That was 20 years ago. Here. <laughs> when I squat down, I can see right up your nose. I'm sorry. I guess this date is pretty disappointing. As a matter of fact, it is. Well, it's still early in the evening. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? You bet. You can go to bed with me. Right now. Oh, I don't know what happened. Oh, it's not your fault. I'm under a lot of pressure. Sure, my name is Tom Selleck, and sure, I look like him, but I can't always perform like him. Maybe we should take our clothes off. Good idea. I never thought of that. Imagine. Well, we could fill the room with jello and dance all around in French maid outfits. French maid outfits. Hey, I just happen to have one right here. Oh. 
Uh, it looks like it'll fit you just fine. All we need now is music. It's 2.30. What you're doing is dirty. I know I've got some balls. You're making too much noise, and if you don't stop, I'm going to call a cop. <laughs> You weren't that easy to match. Why not give Tom one more chance? Oh, all right. Why don't you try a little more exotic setting this time, hmm? Maybe I will. I'll take him bowling. Hmm. Well? This is more fun than licking frozen doorknobs. Gee, that's not till next week. Tonight there's a no holds barred wrestling match between Mario the Flash Bonzini and the challenger Storm and Norman. Sounds like a good fight. I can't see. Well, you were the one who picked our seats. Oh, Tommy, don't say that. People will think that we're in love. What's the matter, you lousy dirtbag? Who are you calling a dirtbag, you loghead? Who are you calling loghead, you weasel brain? Who are you calling a weasel brain, you photographer? Nobody calls me a photographer. And there they go. Storm and Norman body slam the camera. Mario Flash Bonzini is stunned. And while he's not looking, Norman pulls a gun. The winner and new champion of the world, Storm and Norman. Your fly's open. Thanks. Is shooting legal? No, but it's the only way he can win. Oh, Tommy, I have so much to learn. I got this number off of the bathroom wall. I wonder what they meant by good time. Mm -hmm. Nice robe. Hello? What? Oh. Oh. Oh, I like that. Uh -huh. Yes, I... I get well, I... Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, Jeannie. I finally got a date with a real woman. I'm sorry, we're just gonna have to break up, but uh, you can sleep in. Oh, I've got morning mouth. The worst breath of the day. We're talking stinko. I could use some gum right now, but hey, wait a second. I could have sworn I stuck some gum here last week. Damn that maid. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to tell Esther where I live. Let's see. Oh, well, where do I live? See a needle bomb? A Nishiyama? Knockwurst? Norman, Norman, here it is! Hey, I live in a pretty nice neighborhood. Oh, that drained me. Move over, Jeannie. I need a nap. <sighs> scene is a rough, emotional, confusing world where hearts are broken every day. Yet some people still have a dream about their ideal mate. One that was out of town a lot. Female, rich, funny, gorgeous, and trustworthy. One that cooks, and does the house, work, and uh, takes care of me. Uh... Um... Right here, what are you talking yeah, about? Right, right. <laughs> Curly hair. Curly hair, critical in a relationship. Someone who likes to take their clothes off a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to say because I might get in trouble. <laughs> That's a nice looking blonde out of here. <laughs> you really asked the wrong guy. Why? Now, what do you mean by that? A woman. What did you get? John Collins would be perfect. Rambo. Oh, I prefer Bo Derek. Uh, any reason? You prefer no. Probably just for one night. A bald headed man with glasses. That's okay. me. <laughs> Moses, party of 40,000. Your table's ready. I just tell him, you try anything, stick it in your ear, and then just kiss off. 
I need a new approach. Hi, sailor. New in town? You want to get lucky? Yes, I... Oh, Norman! <laughs> How you doing, Esther? Did you remember we had a date? Did you already eat? Oh, I had a little chicken, but uh, I'm still hungry. Well, why don't you have a breath mint? Oh, that again. How embarrassing. Well, it's making my eyes water. Consider yourself fortunate. You're still alive. Well, I thought you were paying for lunch. No, no, I, I tried to sneak out the back way, but they caught me, and now we have to do the dishes. <laughs> Thanks, creep. <laughs> Say, uh, uh, can you see yourself in this plate? Yeah, I'm a mess. No, that's just spinach. On the plate? No, on your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I was just thinking about last summer when it got so hot and the hogs went wild and ate my cousin Willie. <laughs> no, I'm afraid of ham. <laughs> Uh, lesson number one, uh, pucker up your lips, uh, put them together, and make a noise like the toilet's backing up. Uh, that was good, but uh, you'll have to watch the spit bubbles. Like, you know. Thank you. I want to apologize about my hat exploding earlier and blowing your hair off. Yeah, yeah, well, now I have to buy a toupee. Yeah, here's a dollar. Get something nice. Oh, I stole this from the safe. Oh, oh well, we have to go. Okay. Bye. 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 Toodaloo, caribou. Thank you. So long. Get me a horse, a real big horse, or a great big kangaroo, and let me yahoo, yahoo, yahoo. Sounds like a moose. Wonderful. Oh, are you calling for me? Hmm. <laughs> it's time to move on to second base. <laughs> I'll go in the back and get naked, okay, Esther? All right, I'll join you in a minute. I have to clean up the kitchen. Uh, listen, is there someplace uh, private I can undress? I'm kind of shy. Well, let's see. Not here. Um, here, next to the hot water heater. Okay, but don't look. Oh, don't worry. You go ahead and get ready. I'll be in a minute. It's just, I... Oh, no. It's all burnt and dirty. Hey, I told you not to look! Boy, she's having a tough time. Why don't we just take a break from the movie for a second and uh, watch a home movie. Uh, this was sent in by Stacy Cosmetis from uh, Northridge, California. This was the thousand-year-old castle of King Nimrod, a mad tyrant who was said to treat his subjects as if they were farm animals, refusing even to upgrade their outdated transportation system. Nobody complained until one day, as his bodyguards led their king down the royal stairs, the look on their faces said that something very serious was about to take place. Of course, the king had no idea that a full-scale rebellion was underway. It started with a brief scuffle in the throne room. Uh, the cruel king assumed he had things under control, so he visited the one place where he could peacefully contemplate his tyrannical rule, the beach, where the elements of nature always convinced him that he was afraid of nothing. He began to harass his subjects by breathing on them at ultra-close range. Finally, his palace guards rose up, attacking him with everything they had and putting an end to his insane rule. The tyrant was replaced by the good Queen Anne, a kind-hearted monarch who would gladly gift her presents for her subjects and had lingerie shows every other Tuesday. She gave free medical advice to the poor, as well as offering her services as a volunteer fireman. Good Queen Anne, beloved by all. Hmm? Honey? Pumpkin lips! Mm. Oh, you've been drinking eggs again. It's a disease, darling. You should get professional help. Norman? Uh, the guys at the garage say you have a lot of hair on your back. <laughs> <laughs> they were right. They were talking sheepdog. Exciting. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. How about a hickey? <laughs> huh? Hey, I'm taller than you. You're wearing my high heels. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Something the matter? Your suit smells like a sandwich. Jeez, it's probably my breath. Uh, mm. I'll go gargle with some air freshener. I'll, I'll be back next week. Good luck. 
Listen, pal, your breath stinks. What the hell are you doing out in public? Didn't you see the No Hala Tosa sign on the wall? People are trying to smoke in here, and some of us are trying to breathe. I ought to report you to the health department. Go back to the cesspool where you belong. Haven't you ever heard of a toothbrush? <laughs> That's the worst excuse I ever heard. You're a sorry example of a human being. You ought to be locked up. Don't breathe on that. People eat around here. And I don't like your hat either. Is that stench? Get me a gas mask. Is the sewer backing up? Eating honey, is that you? Ooh. Give me a scope. Double. Leave the bottle here. Did something die back here? A <sighs> uh, package for Storm and Norman. Oh, what is it? A case of breath mints. Wise guy, huh? Oh, say please. Well, who sent it? Uh, the Environmental Protection Agency. And uh, not a moment too soon. Huh? huh? Court is now in session. Judge Wapner presiding. Next case, State versus Storm and Norman. State calls first witness, Foster Brooks. Hey, state your case. Norman breathed on me. That's not a crime. Be more specific. I'm only... 19. I was a hunk till he walked by. Uh, you remind me too much of my wife. Mr. Eisenhower, take him away. Uh... Storm and Norman, approach the bench. Stop right there. That's close enough, lizard breath. Now, there's no penalty for bad breath, so I'll have to let you go. Please wait. What? Huh? Listen, Judge, you're running for re-election. I think you should reconsider. What do you mean? Put him away. Do you realize what you're asking? This man's not really a criminal. Please, Judge. You've got to understand, I... I've been dating this man for a while, and... Well, you don't know what it's like to kiss a man with bad breath. Yes, I do, but that's a different case. Do you realize if I convict him that he'll be put away for the rest of his life? Do you? Do you? Do you? I do. Mm. I should have brought a lunch. Well, lock him up. Thank you. Bye. You can stay with me, me and me. Norman. Hello, mon chéri. State versus Fernando Valenzuela. Uh, uh, Mr. Valenzuela, you've been charged with dancing and twirling in the park. I'm a ballerina. Hello, Esther. Hello. Yes, this is Pierre. Huh. I'm the man who gave you a ride home from court yesterday. Oh, and, uh... Would you like to go with me to a formal event? Yes, Pierre, the one with the fake mustache. I'll pick you up in five minutes. Esther here says she's going to a very highbrow affair. I'll take care of that. Oh, that's nice. Oh. She doesn't appreciate her work. I know. I'll make her smile. Esther has two dates. Funeral is your idea of a formal event? Yeah, but... I was a little right, Esther. I want Stan Selleck really like, huh? Where'd you go for dinner? Would you sign my yearbook and make it out to Eleanor Roosevelt? Step aside. Come on, Esther, you have Quit pushing me, Esther, or I'll deck you. Hey, Esther, Esther, how do you like your dates? They're awful. <laughs> Darling Esther, don't be discouraged. There are a lot of men out there who will love you. Oh. I should know. I've had them. <laughs> Why, just last week I had a wonderful experience. I took on the entire football team at Bob's Junior College. Wow, we wow wow. Get a young one. They're the best. <laughs> now get off my lap. Hurting me. Here's a buck. Well, you two are out kind of late again tonight, huh? Come on, Mom. We're on our honeymoon. Yeah. Mother's-in-law. Huh. Say, Esther, go fix me some weenie surprise. 
Sure, Alfalfa. I think a woman's place is in the kitchen. Isn't that right, old man? Well, actually, I have to agree with oh, you. Oh, don't encourage him. Oh. I wish I'd been like Grandma and never married. Hmm. No wife of mine's gonna read National hey, Geographic. Uh, oh, shame on you, Alfalfa. Give me a... I'm gonna teach you a lesson. You're going uh, to bed early. Uh, uh, Esther, aren't you coming with me? Uh, oh. Not to not have a headache. Well, that makes one less eligible bachelor, and I'm sure glad of it. You know, every day a star is born, and by golly, the next one could be you. So send your home movies to L.A. Connection Productions, Hollywood, California. Now let's watch a preview of our next mad movie. What do you want? Well, I... Uh, don't you know? You sent for me. Oh, touch your hat and get out of here. Yes, sir. Hi. My name is Lance. I'm worth well over $10 million. My hobbies are professional football, buying expensive gifts for women, flying my private jet to Hawaii on my lunch hour. I want a date with you, baby. Why? Because I'm so hot. 